Hello everyone, it's me Dan Fims here, and today I was thinking of playing some Minecraft. So, as you may, might see, I have created the storage room right here with some chests and started to sort it out. But also, I have made my own little trophy room here. And as you see, we have been fighting the Ender Dragon. I have a clip of it, actually, so if you want to see the time lapse, then here it comes. <laughs> So now you have seen when we defeated the Ender Dragon and probably saw that I got the Dragon Egg and the Dragon Head. <clears throat> and here I'm like thinking of just putting in all heads I get because we have this plugin where you can get heads from each mob. But also something new is this thing right there actually so let's just see okay i'm <laughs> i'm okay there there you see it's an ocean monument that i've been working on so that it becomes a guardian form and it would be nice to get it done but i don't know if that is what I will be focusing on today, but we will see. But also, I have got my own elytra. That is why I have my firework. Bits. And I have bought some shulker box from Diakic 2. So now I have some shulker box too. So yeah, that's really nice. Anyways, uh, actually I don't really know what I will be doing this video. <laughs> um, what can we do? We can fly. Yeah, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I am not good at flying. Yet, so, yeah. But I think... Maybe we should, like, drain this temple. But I don't know. And they are AFK. Uh, yeah, let's get up here. And uh, get some sponges and some logs and then we can start drain the inside of the, the monument so where is my sponges there it is uh, let's see there is some logs and I want more logs there we go and yeah let's go Yay, now it works. Then get down here. Because down here I have a way into the temple. And we have, I have 
already started training the monument. But I guess that is just to start. So start from up here. Yeah. Let's start here by doing this. I am not, I am noob at <laughs> training monuments. So yeah. Oh, there was a hole. Let's. Yeah, let's put a log there. And then some logs. No, I mean sponges. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Start to look good. So let's remove this one. And do like that. So there. And then we have right here. Let's do like this, yes. So it gets removed earlier or faster. So there we go. Now what I will do is like this. I will put logs here and here. Because as we have the tree plugin, I use logs and then just remove them sometimes. This is true. And then get rid of that one. And continue like so. Uh, there, 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 there. Yeah, good. And then like that. And continue like this. And there we go. Not. <sighs> okay, I missed these blocks but no, no also there now this room is done so then we have the next room let's just get all the sponges And then let's get inside of here. Get these sponges and start training. Like so. Ooh. Okay, good. So now let's get these. Also, I didn't find any sponges in this monument actually. I am actually borrowing these from beasts, so, but I will make a time lapse when I drain this monument and I will be back soon. See you then. <laughs>
guys, now it's been like three days since I recorded the last clip, but as you may see, I have started on uh, a new shop, which is going to be an ocean shop, such a thing. Like I will sell tridents, uh, prismarine, or whatever they call. What are they called? Prismarine crystals and prismarine shard. That's what I will sell too. But I'll sell kelp, sea um, cucumber. I think that's it. But anything related to ocean. Maybe I'll even start sell fish in here. But we will see. So this is what I have done. Um. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So here I will have crystals, shards, and up here I will have tridents uh, all the way around. And then up here I will no wait. I will have kelp, kelp, <laughs> sea cucumber, and sea cucumber. So and then I will have tridents and maybe fish. So, I hope you understand that. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to see... Yeah, also, I got a nether star. I actually got three wither skulls. So, I fought the... Um, what is it called? Wither boss or whatever it's called. To get this, so I can make a beacon. But I uh, won't make it this episode but anyways let's head over to my base and turn on the volume right there and see the boat and get over okay why is this one there we go let's go uh, what are you working on um I am doing, or I am working on my shop, but right now I am recording. There we go. Uh, oh no. Oh fun, what shop? Um, an ocean shop. Let me get it! Thank you. Okay. Why am I lagging? There we go. So, if we stand right over here, we see the golden farm. So, what we'll do is get down here, uh, all the way down. So, this is an open garden farm for everyone to use, but they are not allowed to take items, as I will be selling these items. So that's mostly what this is for, XP and item units. And here we have some heads. Why do they always close this one? They don't need to do that. Uh, good choice on a shop. I will be probably be buying some uh, lanterns. Anyways, I will leave you alone so you can record. Um, so yeah, here I get everything. Uh, oh, oops. So yeah, let's see here. These ones. Uh, there we go. I wonder. Yeah, it's pretty full. So let's take some of them and put them inside of here. Uh, there we go. So 
how this works is just like you come here stand between the two fences or walls or whatever close the trapdoors and start hitting them by that you get easy xp and gets a lot of items so that's good if you need to repair your tools or such so yeah and to all of you Mindfighter SMP members do not close this one because as it says here trap doors closed equals come back later if these are closed the other people will think that they will have to come back later leave those open I am the one that will close and open you will just get in here close these ones and start hitting them and then open up and get out and if you get a um, head then place them here because I want a row with heads because it would look good at least if you ask me so yeah let's just uh, get rid of these items there we go and the hoppers lead the items into this one and then um, it's working here so it gets dropped out flying up here going on a water into there and then it's just water and into the hoppers and then it starts to sort themselves out so yeah so that's pretty much that have happened here and that's how it works too so yeah pretty easy I guess and uh, mm, yeah I think that's it for this video actually so uh, let me just get up again so I can tell you guys about my plans because I have like a deal with Daiki too I won't tell you what type of deal it is but because of that deal I will be making a lot of ocean farms like a drowned farm, fish farm obviously, but that will be in my base. I will make sea cucumber farm, kelp farm, etc. So yeah, now you guys probably know about my plans. And I will see you in my next video. Uh, hope you enjoyed. So let's just get here and ah, uh, oh, that was close. <sighs> okay, I wanted to have the sunset, but maybe I'm too late. Could I please just get here? There we go. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> it's done here. So, wonderful uh, sunset. So, thank you guys for watching. And please like and subscribe, as usual. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!